Have you spoken to President-elect Biden? I haven't yet, but I, I congratulate uh, President uh, Biden, President-elect Biden, very much on his on his victory, and of course I, I congratulate uh, Kamala Harris on being the first uh, female vice president as, as she will become in the history of the of the United States, and uh, the United States is our closest and most important ally, and uh, that's been the case under president after president, prime minister after prime minister, it won't, it won't change. And I look forward very much to working with President Biden and his team on a lot of uh, crucial stuff for us in the, in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, tackling climate change, uh, trade, international security, many, 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 many other issues. As you know, President-elect Biden um, has um, called you a clone. Of, of President Trump, and he's also made it clear that he thinks Brexit is a mistake and it will diminish Britain in the world. How are you going to convince him that he's wrong? We have common values, we have common interests, we have a common uh, global perspective. There's a huge amount of work we need uh, to do together to protect those values. Uh, a belief in, in democracy, in, in free speech uh, around the world, in human rights, uh, in, in free trade, in the, the rules-based uh, international order. All these things are currently under threat. And you have the United States and Britain standing together, as they have done many times uh, in the past, to protect those values. So there's, there's far more, uh, I think, that, uh, that uh, unites us than divides us.